Grab your za. It's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Mutant Mayhem. Press buttons. Let's go. Brunch. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Mutant Mayhem is a 2023 animated film from director Jeff Rowe and a team of co-writers including Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg. The first CG animated film from Nickelodeon Animations, Mutant Mayhem follows the beloved quartet of turtles and a human teenager as they attempt to save the world from the devious mutant Superfly. As of this recording, it has a 96 on Rotten Tomatoes with an audience score of 92. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem has a runtime of one hour and 40 minutes. My biggest takeaway from this movie is it's probably the most I have seen a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles thing lean into teenage. Oh, this yeah, that's true. This is extremely teenage. A lot of it's giving whatever <laughs> and all of this how do you do fellow kids sort of stuff. Oh, I didn't I didn't take it not, away. Not I didn't any... take away like how do you do fellow kids like it didn't feel like it was cringy it felt a little too much in that respect and i feel that a lot of movies maybe choose against that sort of thing just to go super into what are the kids saying this minute because you want to to last and you want everybody to get it no matter when they see i mean the thing i'll say about that is i'd rather them lean into that than have like it like sporadically drizzled throughout the movie like the, no this is all over it this it, is the, like they, they dump it all over the it. I, I would say like the mario movie does like a few like wink wink type things that that like tie it to today and kind of how do you do fellow kids and that stuff just feels more out of place this movie it was like part of the charm and part of like that world i i, I really really liked this movie i felt like uh this comparison is probably going to be made a lot, but like Spider Verse ran so that this movie could run a little bit slower. Definitely, I mean, this isn't close to the the first Spider Verse movie. No, but I, well, I, and I wasn't crazy about the second one. This is probably somewhere in between. Like, I know that this is obviously, as I said, I think ninety six on Rotten Tomatoes, extremely well received. Uh, I think this is a good kids movie. I. Don't think it's as amazing, maybe for people our age. Even though the supporting cast is really good, uh, Ice Cube loved him, loved Jackie Chan. It was crazy, but like Jackie Chan was my favorite part of the movie. But mostly, I think it's a kids movie, and the the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and uh, Io uh, Debris, and she I was awesome. I liked her character. You didn't? No, I, I was I was gonna disagree with like I don't think this is a kids movie. I, I think it's equally split, like fifty fifty for kids and also for adults. Like yeah. I had a really good time in this movie, and like I yeah, like it's it's heavily based in like teenage world and stuff like that. But I enjoyed all, pretty much all of it. But even but it's its story is so dumb. Like, I mean, it's it's it, so elementary. Have you ever seen uh, Spider-Man and his amazing friends? No. It's a kid's show, and it will be Spider-Man and his amazing friends show up to something, and, like, Doc Ock will be like, I'm going to spin your friends around and make them dizzy. And Spider-Man and his amazing friends are like, you better not. We're going to stop you from doing that. And they stop him from doing that. And All Doc right. Ock's like, motherfucker, Spider-Man, I hate when you do this. <laughs> All right, that yeah. All right, so I get what you're saying now where it's like it's very explicitly explained what's happening. Yeah, and I'll, I'll clarify. That's not a bad thing. It doesn't make it a bad movie. It probably limits how great it can be when it is all very, very, very obvious. But again, I, I, I think that this is more of a kid's movie. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. Like, I, I wouldn't call it as a knock against against the, the movie as an adult because, like, I know that it's being... It's, it's trying to be a movie for kids. And at the same time that it's being a movie for kids, it's also very entertaining for me as an adult. Yeah, I mean, I, so I liked all the adult... Uh, now we're just going to keep saying kids and adults, but, like... <laughs> And I hate having that argument, by the yeah. way. I hate being like, who is this movie made for? Like, no, I don't, you I, don't. That's your favorite thing to do. <laughs> no, I, I don't. Like, I don't love having that. Like, I, I, I want to have that conversation when it's very confusing. Yeah. Like, there are times where you, where you have to be like, all right, who was this made for? This one, like, I didn't, I wasn't asking that question at all because 
I know I understood that it was made for kids. It, like you said, it's pretty clear that it is. But I didn't have to ask that question or I didn't have to feel like I was like, oh, OK, well, I'm, I went to a kid's movie. I have to force myself to enjoy this. I, like I, think, I really, really it was easy to enjoy for me as an adult. I think if I'm like going with family, it bring in like a, a teen family member. I make sure I phrased not say it. I think if I go to this movie with a teenager, uh, but if, <laughs> if like I'm going with family, I'm doing it saying like, hey. I think you're going like I saw this movie was my favorite movie, but I think that you're going to really like it and it's going to be up your alley. I've recommended it to adult friends without uh, kids. OK, so if somebody asked me, I would say you don't need to see it in theaters, although I did see it in 3D. I like better or worse. I, I there wasn't a ton that was enhanced by the 3D aspect. My favorite parts of it, though, were Jackie Chan. I loved the scene where he tried to bring uh, the real world to down <laughs> under the sewer. It was extremely Little Mermaid, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, he made me laugh. I liked that they didn't overdo it with Seth Rogen and John Cena as mm. Bebop and Rocksteady. I really liked Rose Byrne's character. I couldn't keep track of all the other mutants, but Paul Rudd's character was good. He uh, was the only voice that I really recognized outside of Seth Rogen. Ah, uh, I knew that John and, and Cena, Ice Cube, obviously. I knew that John Cena was in it, and I heard this weird voice, and I was like, "That's probably pitched down John Cena," <laughs> which it was. Uh, there's a terrific. Now that here's where it's for adults. There's a terrific makeout scene between a rat and oh, yes. whatever slimy, crazy yes, thing. Disgusting creature. Um yeah, I mean the outside of that disgusting uh that disgusting scene, I thought the visuals were really solid. Like the yeah, animation I was the animation. the animation was awesome, with the exception of there were a few points during like the big battle scene at the end where it was just like there was a lot going on mm -hmm. and with that style of animation, which is in a way, like similar to Spider Verse, where it's like comic booky, yeah. Um, like it was, it was a little tough to to follow along, but other than that, like the the animation was great. Like the action sequences were very cool. I thought the world that they built was was really cool, and I think the like the biggest strength for me was this movie actually felt like it had soul to it. Like it had a, a it had like a, a pulse, and it was cool and. I feel like a lot of these like reboots of these beloved franchises have been sanitized down and kind of been a little bit clean and lifeless in a way. And this movie wasn't super afraid to take some chances. I don't know how much soul I found from like I found myself rooting for the high school character, but I mean ultimately you knew where it was all heading. It was going to be some showdown with Superfly. Although, this movie is not paced very well. It takes, for, for a movie that yeah, is agree. like pretty paint by numbers, it takes forever for you to know that, like, okay, Superfly is trying to, like, Superfly wants to eliminate the humans. 50 minutes in before you get to that point. Yeah, but I, I, I didn't find that, like, I was like, all right, get to this, this Oh, point. I did, yeah. Really? I didn't at I all. Did, I yeah. thought this movie moved pretty briskly. Uh, I thought that it it was over kind of in a flash. Uh, the, only, the only knock there would be, like, I felt like the final battle was over a bit too, not too quickly, but I think that so it was it a bit unsatisfying. There. Yeah. Un a bit unsatisfying. Um, in the way that it ended. There's a great, there are a lot of good lines in this movie. My favorite line was uh, when they, I won't give it away because I don't want to totally spoil the movie, but uh, they attempt to take down Ice Cube's Superfly character uh, after uh, he has maybe turned into something even more imposing and they struggle to do that and Ice Cube has a line about a horse that is very, very good. This movie is oddly mean to Leonardo. I didn't like that. Uh, they... Meet Io Idibri's character by throwing a ninja star at her and hitting her in the head. There's just a couple of little things like that where I'm like, ah, now I am asking who this movie's for. I don't know. The the Leonardo thing I thought was, I didn't, I mean, yeah. They, Boarded they, on bullies. They on razzed bullying. him a little bit, but it's a, it's a brother's dynamic. Like, I, I felt like that was just well, a kind Leonardo of part of the charm. never did... 
anything to deserve it. They were super mean to Leonardo. Yeah, but he was like, I'm the leader. And when you do that with your four brothers, they're probably going to give you some shit. I don't, I mean, yeah. I, I, I don't think I love this as much as other people. Uh, I really liked it. There is a psychotic electronic version of What's Up by Four Non Blondes in this song. That's oh, yes. one of my favorite. Yes, there is. Of it. Uh, what are some of your positives? Uh, animation was great. I thought the action sequences were very cool. Uh, and I felt like this had soul. Uh, positives for me, I think you covered. Like, it looked great. And I liked really all the adults, especially Jackie Chan. Uh, the negatives, I think that it maybe did force some teen speak in there uh it was a little wonky with its pacing uh where are you giving it on letterbox i am giving it a, i initially gave it a 4.5 out of 5 wow i have since downgraded it to a 4 out of 5 i gave it uh i was going to give it a 3.5 out of 5 but Given how many things I do like about it, doesn't I bump it up sound to a like four. a three and a half out of five. Really? Yeah, no, I, I, I would have guessed it a four out of five. That's crazy. I would have thought you know, the way that you're talking about it, I thought at least three, like max three out of five. All right, I this is a confusing kind of review. You around here, Anybody but... who's listening to this is probably like, who likes this movie? Pete doesn't like it. I loved it. Uh, that's Tangent Ninja Turtles.